Hey everybody, Alex here. Um, back again for a video, and what I'm gonna be in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about some of the Toy Fair picks that we've seen, all the different figures from the Transformers line. And first thing we're gonna do, actually, the way this video is gonna work, you know, I'm gonna show pictures that I got from the internet, and then I'm just gonna give my opinions on them. So that's how it's gonna go. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be going through the two animated figures. Well, new figures that we've seen pictures of. So we'll be looking at those right now. Let's go. Alright, so RC. RC is actually a pretty cool looking figure. Um, I'm liking the vehicle mode, very G1-esque, and, and the robot mode, very cool. Uh, very kind of like uh, the IDW RC with the two bladed swords kind of thing going on. Um, it does look like a very cool figure. Um, first, I didn't, it didn't look like you can pose the arms at all. But apparently, yeah, they're all ball joints, but not the best thing. But overall, the figure does look pretty cool. I also wanted to see how the size of it is. So, yeah. Next one, the Electrostatic Soundwave or bla Sound Blaster. That's basically what it is. It's a Sound Blaster repaint. And the figure does look really cool. I, I do love the color scheme. And the new instrument, the Kitar Rapid, come on, that's like so awesome. So yeah, those two things I am gonna get. I cannot wait for those figures. Um, universe, I'm not gonna discuss any of the new universe picks because we've seen all of them. Heck, they've already been on retail some of them, and it's to the point like there's nothing new, and it sucks that there isn't anything new that Hasbro could show us but what can you do so we're just going on into the revenge of the fallen stuff so let's go to our first thing the new robot heroes um first you have the battle for the all spark set at first i thought this was another movie one like set but then i looked at it with the star scream and the way megatron looks and whatnot it's it's actually you know, it takes place somewhere, I guess, prequel to movie two or something doesn't matter. Um, they all look nice. <laughs> the little Sam character looks funky. So, yeah, we're all just going to be waiting to see how that thing turns out. Um, next one, we have the Bumblebee versus Long Haul 2-pack. And we finally see what Long Haul looks like in Robobolt. Kind of, in a kitty sort of way. And they both look cool. Uh, I like how Bumblebee looks. He does look a lot better than the first uh, robot heroes he kind of looks like a giant baby with a baby head so that looks cool those things do look cool and next one we have blackout with um the with Optimus Prime with the double bladed action going on I'm wondering what's up with that um because I don't I doubt blackout's going to be in the second one but it's kind of interesting to show that show blackout movie one character with a prime that's pretty much going to be in movie two so yeah but they both look do pro, do, they do look really good so Okay, then we have the Springer versus Starscream. Springer looks freaking cool. I do like Springer. I like the colors that they use, you know, Springer colors, you know, like the, the lime green color. Very awesome. I do like how he looks. Starscream, he's Starscream. Of course, you're going to like him, especially with the tats, man. Tats are awesome. So, there you go. And then last one, Sideswipe. What can you say about Sideswipe? Sideswipe looks awesome. He always does. So, those are the robot heroes. We're going to be moving on to the our little next picture, shall we? Alright, so here we have the new Mr. Potato Head Transformer, or called Bumble Spud. Um, it does look cute. You know, I have Optimash Prime, so I'll most likely be getting this thing too. It does look pretty cool. I do like it. Um... I wonder if it's going to have like a Mark Ryan um, potato head kind of thing. How they had it with Optimus Prime, Cullen, Mustache, and whatnot. Probably not. I'm just overthinking stuff, but eh, it does look cool. Then we have the Kitty Devastator figure. Okay, I say it's a very Kitty looking Devastator figure. It lays down on its on its stomach. Vehicle mode, you pull it up. He's a robot. Kind of like, a, I guess it's a robo stomping kind of figure but yeah not really into it so let's just 
we'll go on to, well, let's go to our next set of picks, shall we? And I believe they're the gravity bots. You know, I've been interested to see what these gravity bots can do. Um, so, I'm pretty interested in seeing what these things look like. So, let's just go ahead, shall we, and look at them. Just gonna be moving on, moving on to uh, the RPM figures. So we're 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 gonna gonna move on from this. Let's go. Okay, so here is pretty much the RPM subline. Uh, first set of picks are the Bumblebee and Sideswipe Battle Chargers. And, I gotta say, they do look pretty cute looking. Um, I don't know if they're, well, they probably are the same lines of the Cyber Slammer things, you know, just boom and they go and whatnot. But these things are really cute looking. I'm not definitely not going to pick them up, but definitely for your kids. And, yeah, Bumblebee, kind of a little funky looking. And Sideswipe, yo, it's Sideswipe. You know, he, he could be the most kitty, ridiculous looking thing and he still looks cool. <laughs> That's all you gotta say, but not for me, but hey, yeah, check them out. And then we have the little RPM little cars. Um, appears that the first wave is gonna be mostly T um, TF1 vehicles with, you know, skids and mud flap and whatnot. Um, they do look cool. You know, you got the little robot underneath them. You know, they look very cool, very matchbox, uh, micro machines kind of thing. Not much micro, micro machines, but you get the idea. And then you have the the big racing set, the Devastator Showdown. That looks pretty cool. I'm not a Matchbox kind of guy. I don't, I don't collect those kind of things, but they definitely do look cool. And whoever collects Matchbox cars or Hot Wheels cars and whatnot, I think you're going to enjoy these very much. So, especially the playset thing. That looks that look pretty cool. So, let's just go on to our next thing. The new Bumblebee Helmet. Alright, we have our new robot replicas, and, alright, first off, I have two of the first movie one, uh, robot replicas, Jazz and Frenzy, I like those two out of the rest, because, practically, that line kind of, kind of sucked, but, you know, I do think these things do look better, um, I do think they improved on how they look, you know, they're not very cheap looking, and, yeah, uh, I really do like them, I don't know if I'll pick them up, I gotta actually see them in person, to decide whether I'm going to pick them up or not, but from these pictures, you know, they do look pretty cool. But, you know, you got first-hand experience, you know, first-hand got to look at them before picking them up, so. Okay, so we're moving on to finally some actual transforming stuff. Um, our first Legends figure that we've seen in package, but not really big picture of. So, we're going to be looking at Springer very quickly. Um, the Springer figure does look really neat. Um, it does look cool. Uh, so, by the looks of it, he might be in the movie, we don't know, you know, they're, they're known to, like, just create figures, you know, they're not in the movie, but since he's got a robot replica figure, I mean, not robot replica, robot heroes, and a Legends figure, maybe he'll be in the movie, and if he does, well, hopefully he gets a, a bigger figure, maybe a Voyager, if he's gonna be a Osprey, I hope it's a new figure, not a retool of the incinerator figure, so... Yeah, it looks nice. Hopefully, they'll make a bigger figure of Springer. So, okay, we're going to be looking at the Human Alliance Bumblebee, Bumblebee figure. So, let's just take a look at that. Alright, uh, the figure does look really, really good. I do like it a lot. Um, the Sam figure does look cool. You know, even though I don't have a picture of just him, but 
I've seen pictures of it. Um, it does look really cool. It looks like, you know, very good looking. And the only figure itself, very big. Pretty much, I guess it's going to be a Voyager class figure. And, yeah, very cool looking. Um, I hear that they're going to do an Optimus Prime one and a Iron Hive, I believe. An Iron Hive uh, humanized figure. And I'm interested to see what those two will look like. Hopefully, they make other ones, special with the new movie characters. So, let's just wait and see. And speaking of Iron Hive, we're going to be looking at the new re-deco, re-head sculpted new weapon figure. So let's look at that, shall we? Okay, um, no, I initially thought it was going to be a black, um, a black, uh, top kick, um, pickup trick, but obviously it's great. And it does look really cool. I do like it. Um, new weapons, you know, new movie accurate, um, cannons. And the new head sculpt. Um, it doesn't, it looked that much different, but you could tell it's been a re-sculpted head, or they've done something to tweak the head mold. And I like the little um, stamp on his door that says Nest um, Special Forces. You see, has the Autobot symbol with the little beanie on top. That looks freaking cool. That does look cool. Maybe he'll have that in a movie. We don't know. Probably was just for the toy. But that'll be cool if he has that stamp in the actual movie. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be picking it up, and then we're going to be looking, now, we're going to be looking at some of the new deluxe figures, some, two that we haven't seen up until now, Breakaway and Rampage. Okay, so, Breakaway, he, along with Rampage, are new figures, probably like what I just said before. You know, new figures that we didn't know until Toy Fair. So, Breakaway, first of all. New jet. Uh, it's a nice jet. Robo mode, kind of funky. Um, you can tell by the two pictures, the official pictures and the actual pic of it. The colors are a bit different, especially with the light blue thing going on. Um, the head is kind of funny looking. Um, don't know if I'll pick it up. Um, I'll have to see more pictures of it before I make a final decision whether or not I'm going to pick it up or not. Um, Rampage. He's actually pretty cool looking, just like, um, the other Constructicon, um, Dr. Doom Wheel Dude, um, or also known as Demolisher. But, uh, yeah, it's a very cool vehicle mode, you know, construction vehicle. Um, the Rumble was pretty cool. Um, I do wish that it was a little more colors added to it besides just yellow. But, eh, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I kind of wish it had more colors. But that's just me. Um, do like the weapons, the tread whips. I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's going to play a part with him and Jolt, who apparently has electro whips. Maybe they're going to have a, a whipping battle in the movie. That would be pretty cool to see who reigns supreme in the battle of the whips. But anyways, and the fact that, unlike, um, just like a Demolisher, who has a wheel for a foot, or... You know how it gets moving. It looks like he just has like little uh, arachnid like uh, legs, you know, no actual feet. So that's pretty cool as well. So, and just like uh, com comparing the two pictures, I mean, two figures still. Um, yeah, they both seem to have a similar esque head as well. So um, that's probably going to be the theme with the head, that kind of bone crusher esque face. But that's pretty cool. Um, the figure itself is, does look really good. I do plan on getting them along with the um, demolisher. So. Yeah, Demo um, Rampage, definitely will get, get Breakaway, I don't know, gonna have to see more pictures, so we're moving on to the Autobots, the Autobot cars, we got three of them who will probably be in the same unit along with Homby and Jolt, we have Sideswipe, Mufflap, and Skids. Okay, Sideswipe, I shouldn't even have to explain it, he's, he's freaking awesome, the Stingray concept vehicle is freaking beautiful, the robot mode is fantastic, I'm loving the blade weapons, even Miss Transform that Hasbro seems to always do with their figures, he still looks good, can't say anything more about him, can't wait to get this figure in hand, can't wait to see him in the movie, 
Speaking of cool things, mud flapping skits. A lot of people are giving them crap because of their faces. You want to know something? They are freaking cool. I love these guys. They do look awesome. The vehicle modes are great. The track, the tracks and spark vehicles, awesome. The robot modes are fantastic. I I would say I do say that the faces are funky. You know, a lot, I can understand people not liking them, but it's a different take, and we shouldn't pass judgment on them until we actually see how they act in the movie. I mean, of course, people are, are calling them, you know, the Tards or the Judger Binks or, you know, Hillbillies and whatnot. Granted, they do have funky faces, but I like that about them. And the toys look really good. I do like the toys a lot. Um, Could have done without the little um, punch action with skids and the fiery missile hand thing from um, Mudflap. But what can you do? I am looking forward to all three of these figures. So, right now, after that, we're going to be looking at Big Daddy Prime, baby. Let's take a look at the new leader figure. Man, that figure looks so good. I am so happy with how this figure turned out. Um, vehicle mode hasn't changed from the first leader figure from the first movie looks spot on did you see that Dinobot shot me that's freaking weird but anyways the vehicle mode looks great robot mode looks fantastic there's little to no kibble on him whatsoever I mean granted he's got the little kibble on the sides but that's so minor that there's really no need to talk about it um, granted, I didn't find a, the best actual taken picture of him, but he does look great. He's a lot better than the first movie leader figure, and I cannot wait to get him. Plus, he's got two swords. You can't beat a, a robot with two burning swords of death. Can't. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the big guy. The one that causing a lot of drama. Well, I don't want to say drama, but a lot of controversy. A lot of mayhem. A lot of insanity. About Supreme Class Devastator. Let's look at the couple of pics I found, shall we? Okay, you've seen all the pictures in the terms of the Supreme Vehicles in the robot mode. What do I, Alex? think of the supreme figure the fact that they don't have robot mode individual robot modes that it is a hundred bucks and the fact that it's constantly been saying it's two feet tall and apparently it's four feet wide but okay first thing the the scaling it's not two feet tall i'm sorry i'm looking at this it's not two feet tall I mean, even if you shane out the legs, I doubt it's going to reach two feet tall. Maybe it's two feet tall wide if you, like, stretch his arms and put them sideways, you know, from one arm to the other. Maybe he's two feet tall, but with legs, he's not two feet tall. I'm sorry. Uh, the no robot modes, I can understand why they went this route. Um, they wanted to keep it very close to what the CG model of Devastate looks like, and... They, they went, I believe they went the safe way of making the robot Devastator look good, but having to sacrifice the individual robot modes themselves, just having just vehicles transforming into components. And you know what, I could, I could forgive that. I do like how the robot mode looks. Yes, I do like how it looks. I do like how he is a beefy looking guy, even though he's not too beat, but he does look beefy. And I do like it. I do like it a lot. Um, the one thing I don't like at all is the pricing a hundred bucks I mean they're still saying they're still saying even uh, another site is claiming that it's still two feet tall and now it's four feet wide I have to see more pictures of that to see if it's actually two feet tall four feet wide I'm looking at these pictures he's not and I can't can't I cannot justify the price of this guy it's way too much for a hundred bucks it needed to be freaking big. It needed to be something even bigger than Fortress Maximus. Um, so, I don't, I 
I will probably get them. I don't know if I'll get them a hundred dollar price. Probably wait for it to go down in clearance, and maybe if it'll reach maybe fifty dollars, sixty dollars, I'll definitely get it. I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm no. I am not. I don't know if I'm gonna pick them up for a hundred bucks. That's a lot of money, and I don't know. I probably would have gotten him if he was actually two feet tall, but I don't know if he's two feet tall, so... I don't know, gotta see more pictures. But overall, I do like the figure. I do think it's really cool. Um, just want to see the the extent to his possibility. And that's really... I want to see the possibility, and I want to see comparing picks. Someone get a pick of... Someone have Fortress Maximus. Stick him next to Devastator. Let's compare. We need a comparison to see what how big this guy is. Maybe the size and the possibility. Maybe defending. We'll probably level out the hundred bucks in my opinion. I know people don't like the the price, but what can you do? So yeah, that's what I think of all these pictures. So this is it for the review. The I was gonna say review. Well, I kind of am reviewing the pics. Whatever, but um. If you wanna get in, wanna talk about this, you know this. I mainly made this so a lot of people from the YouTube community can discuss the fi the figures either a comment or video response. You know, make a response to what you thought about some of these pictures or what didn't um, show at Toy Fair, or you wanna talk about something else that was at Toy Fair. Toy Fair, besides the Transformers, like G.I. Joe, Legos, Marvel, whatever. Um, this is what I thought about the, some of the Transformer figures that we saw, and I want to see how many people would respond to this in terms of comments or video response. So, hopefully, we'll see how let's see how this turns out. But all right, this is it. This is my Toy Fair Revenge of the Fallen, it's mainly Revenge of the Fallen Transformers coverage, and I will see you guys later for for actual review whenever I get to it. But see you later.